how much do you work with corporations who don't have black culture in mind? How much do you, like, can you, do you, how much do you interact? Like, what do you do? Right. And so the verse, well, the, this was reading between the lines at the crime scene. I ain't fucking with the NFL or Jay-Z propaganda for the military complex. And then the next one, go Rihanna, go watch fighter jets fly high War machine gets glamorized. We play the games to pass the time. Go Beyonce, go watch the fighter jet fly high War machine gets glamorized. We play the game to pass the time. Go Kendrick, go. And it's on. Now, I didn't rap that well. She kind of spent that crazy. That song was crazy. I ain't going to lie. I just kind of read it. So don't come for me there. But, bro, I think, like, the when people talk about, like, Jay-Z's interaction with big business, like, especially the NFL, right? Like, I, I've had a lot of personal opinions about professional sports since playing sports like even in the sport bro like playing basketball for so long it's like it is an avenue for black kids but like when like you don't understand the statistic until you become the statistic right like how they used to when you're playing like two percent of people play college basketball and point two percent play professional and point zero 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 two play in the nba and barely in it like you don't understand those and then you think about how much time resources and like attention we gave basketball for a decade right a decade and now think about that and think about other cultures and what their basketball is right like two girls i met last night real cool real like they're one's a nurse and one's a physical therapist but it's like they're african and their parents are like this is what you're doing type of deal you know like and it's interesting because it's like because it is so like it's on front street football and basketball in america a lot of people do push their kids into aau into travel basketball and allow them to spend a ton of time on that and i don't know if i disagree with it because we did it but at the same time, it's like, imagine if we did, uh, did that with like other things that built black communities in a different way, you know? Yeah. I, I just feel like that's a real true statement. Like, I feel like in these other countries, like even I remember when I was watching the, I watched the TikTok trial, like when they were sitting there grilling the guy. And one of the things that you notice is that in China or in some of these other countries, when you pull up their TikTok, the first thing you're going to see is like STEM and like science, technology, math, just stuff that teaches kids versus us. When you look at a phone, it's entertainment. Like, I feel like a yeah. lot of that is pushed into American culture in the first place. So I feel like with black people, exceed, it would not even exceeding, but doing well in those areas, that's where our focus went a lot of times. Like you hear all the time, black people are like, oh, I got to... I got to be a basketball player, make music or sell drugs. Like that's the main thing when there's more out there and there's more avenues for black people to become great and to become wealthy. But it's just like, that's not what we're showing. We see, we see right. athletes, we see music entertainers, we see drug dealers, the pimps, the, like all that stuff. And we're not pushed towards being doctors and being, being on wall street or doing stuff like that. Like, I feel like it's not something that, we put as much importance on when we should when we really should yeah yeah i agree i agree with that and i think that i don't want to like completely like go against all of these artists for doing these things you know what i'm saying because when you have a set of skill when you have a set of skills and i think this is where rihanna and jay-z have sort of excelled it's like they use that avenue to propel them into like other things you know what i mean right and so that they use it as a springboard in that way and so i don't like i'm not against it but i see why people are looking at it kind of funny and it has me thinking like like if you understand advertiser do you know the origin of soap operas have i talked to you about this it wasn't something with like a soap box like a so soap operas were created by soap companies right and so soap operas were like think about like Grey's Anatomy or like show shows that are going on for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 seasons on like 
like NBC, ABC, like the real public channels. Like these shows were created with the intent on selling products around it. That's why it's so, you know what I'm saying? So like people think, oh, Grey's Anatomy is the moneymaker. Like no, Grey's Anatomy is the loss leader. You know, like they, the Grey's Anatomy, they put that on TV for people. They know people are going to watch it, obviously. But that, that's, that's what you like working in marketing, the attention, the attention grants, right? If I get a hundred million people to watch this episode, when I put this 30 second clip in there selling ivermectin or fucking uh, uh, soap detergent, whatever, right? And 1% of people buy that. I just made a million sales, right? And so we think, and so wow, we, we're the, and that the crazy part is like, that's why I think like earn your leisure and people like that are so important because it's like, you have to shift it where it's like, the media isn't bad because the sports games are the soap operas, right? The NBA games, the NFL games, those are the attention. That's when people are watching, right? And we are the people on those. We are the people in the games. But you also have to think like, who owns the channels? Why, why is Jalen Brown getting paid $307 million? Where's the money coming from? Yeah. It's like, it's the ticket sales. It's the TV deals that they got, the YouTube deals, like, this is where the money's coming from because they know if they can get X amount of people to watch the game, then we can go sell them this car. We can go sell them this insurance, you know? And so, like, I think it just has to be a shift in mindset where it's like the media, the entertainment isn't the bad thing, right? It's not necessarily bad to watch Rihanna at the halftime show. It's like we just don't own any NFL teams or the channels that they're on or the products being sold. That's what it is. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. So, so I think No Name has definitely valid points in this, but I think some of the problems I have with people who do stuff like this is that they don't, and maybe I'm just not well versed enough on No Name to know if she's really dove deep into these topics outside of. Because the thing with rap, it's like if you don't do these rap breakdowns, it's like it's like how do you like what does this mean to somebody that's not doing what we're doing right now? Yeah, it doesn't mean that it's like Rihanna is just performing at the halftime show. What are you mad about? It's like we don't have this conversation, me and you. People might not know what this means, you know. So I don't know if she's actually diving into those topics outside of like a musical forum to like explain it to people who might not understand. But there are a lot of people who like like point, like throw rocks and point, and then really don't like help to absolve the issue. And I think that's what J Cole was saying. Like J yeah. Cole was like sort of mad, like bro, help me understand. Like, you can't just be mad at me for doing something and not explain why you're mad at me, yeah. you know? And so, like, I think her pointing it out is definitely valid, but I think the these bigger conversations like me and you are having are important. And I think, um, I think it's just a nuanced point, you know, like that. And this, this is, like, really the reason I'm in marketing. Like, that stuff I'm talking to you about, it's like the thing between media and the product and the ownership is the marketing. Like I'm the middleman in that way. And that's why I think it's so important what I'm doing. And that's why I'm like, oh, this is what I, this is why I feel like that's what I need to be doing. Cause it's like, that's the disconnect. But, you know, go listen to Sundial. <laughs> go listen to Sundial. But yeah.